What's up, people? It's Cowboy coming at you. I got something to say. Are y'all listening to me? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, my YouTube family? How y'all doing today, man? I know it's been over a week or so, but uh, it's Cowboy coming at you. As you can see, I'm outside, man. Outside in the back. It's nice out tonight. So I figure I step outside here, watch a little NBA through the uh, door here and uh, blow me some smoke. So I thought I'd pull one out and share it with y'all. So we ain't gonna mess around, man, because I ain't gonna be out here too awfully long. But uh, show y'all what I pulled out the old humidor today, man. Something that I've had my hands on for a few weeks now. Um, I've known a couple of people to smoke it. And from what I hear, it ain't a bad stick. So Cowboy's gonna go ahead on and get this stick in. Let y'all know what I think about it. I'm gonna take that out the wrapper here real quick. Show y'all what we working with. This particular cigar has not been on the market very, very long. What we have there is the Zeno, Nicaraguan. Now, when I first saw this cigar, and it had the name Zeno, Zeno on it, I was like, man, it really don't remind me of the Zenos that I use to smoke. Not as sexy looking. Uh, the band is not as pretty, not as attractive, but still not a bad looking stick. Still a decent looking band. Uh, good looking medium brown hue to that. Some minimal veins. I'm gonna say there's just, just a little bit of toothiness to it as well. And I'm looking at what looks to be, I'm gonna say a double cap on the smell. Definitely some grassy, barnyard grassiness there. A little bit of musk. Some funk there on the on the wrapper in my opinion. And I've got uh, a little bit of uh, sweet tobacco, maybe some dark tea, a little bit of chocolate there on the foot. But this would be the uh, 5x54 Robusto in the Zeno Nicaragua by Davidoff of Janine. Geneva. So, Cowboy gonna smoke this thing, man. Um, I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope y'all had a good week so far. I know it's been over a week since I've been on. But uh, you see, we ain't getting as many reviews out as we used to, you know. There's a lot of craziness going on on the, uh, on the set right now. As far as cigar reviews go. So some of us kind of just laying back, man, and uh, trying to let things pan themselves out, man. We got some folks out here being a little messy. You know who you are. On the cold draw. Not a whole lot there on the cold draw. Uh, some woodiness. Almost like some dry leaves. Not a lot of flavor there on the cold draw, in my opinion. But definitely some cedar there and some dry leaves. So, Cowboy's going to get this thing fired up, man. And we're going to smoke him, and I'm going to tell y'all what I think, man. Shout out to the Army. Shout out to all my newest subscribers, man, that have came on since, uh, since you guys have last seen me. Shout out to Lee Mac 912, Ash Head Cigar Junkie, Ryan Real TV, Patrice, a lady in her cigar, the Army, everybody. Like I say, you guys know who you are. I'm always shouting the same people out all the time because those are the folks that I uh, that I talk to and I deal with most of the time. Looks to have taken a pretty good light now. Let's see what's up with this Zeno, Nicaragua. Robusto. Let 
Got a really nice draw to it. Really nice sweet cedar note there on the first pull. Uh, definitely got a little bit of pepper there. I'm gonna say that's a, a white pepper right now. Got some nuttiness to it already. Nice and creamy. Sweet tobacco. Not bad. This is really not a bad tasting cigar. I didn't know what to expect from this Zeno, man. I thought that they were going uh, kind of low key based on the old Zenos that we used to smoke. Uh, the Chubbies that I smoked a lot of, that's a pretty expensive cigar. These cigars go for about seven, seven fifty around here. Uh, you may be able to find them a little bit cheaper in some places. But uh, I failed to mention that this thing is dressed in a uh, Ecuadorian, Connecticut wrapper. Uh, Nicaraguan binder and it's got a combination of uh, Nicaraguan, Honduran and Dominican fillers in it as well. Very nice aroma to it. Yeah, so right away I'm getting a nice sweet nuttiness, some cream, white pepper and cedar there on the retro. Got a little bit of spice going there as well. So, glad to be back before you guys, man, for a little while. Cowboy's not gonna keep y'all long. I was gonna blow a smoke. I thought I'd share it with you guys, man. So, uh, let me smoke this thing down a little bit. Get down into the first portion of it and come back and let y'all know what we think. Tell you what, the Zeno Nicaraguan that surprised me this evening. I really did not know what to expect with this cigar. First time ever having it. Like I said, it's fairly new. Uh, not out long ago. I've only had my hands on for a few weeks. But uh, as you can see, that cigar's got a very, very nice burn to it. Good looking stick. Beautiful dark burn line there. Took a nice V cut. Cigar has a perfect draw to it. Burning well. Uh, it's got a deep woodiness to it, a deep sweet cedar wood to it. Definitely a white pepper, maybe a tad bit of black in there as well with spice there on that retro. I got some coffee there, got a nice chocolate note going. As you can see, the cigar puts out hella smoke. It's got a really nice, thick creaminess to the mouthfeel. A nice, sweet tobacco core. I'm picking up some nutmeg spice here in the first portion of it. Like I said, a sweet tobacco core. Very tasty. I mean, there are three different blends to the cigar. The, the uh, Nicaraguan, Honduran, and the Dominican, and I am getting something from from all of them. Uh, I'm even getting a, a nice sweet earthiness there on the cigar as well. And I'm gonna say that right now, the cigar is probably smoking medium in strength, medium plus on the body, and medium plus on the flavors for me. Very nice. Like I said, I'm surprised. The Nicaraguan, Zeno, the 5x54 Robusto. You guys gotta go out and try that. Very inexpensive stick as well. Now y'all know I'm outside. Anybody that's been watching me for the past year, don't be surprised if you hear my neighbor over there cranking up something here in a little while. <laughs> it happens every time. But uh, Cowboy gonna continue to smoke this thing down. Oh, before I forget, man, I let the cigar speak to me. While I decide to go in and grab the drink, there's a little bit of bullite rye. So, pull up a nice little shot of bullite rye. We're gonna drink this with the Zeno. Salute. Mm. 
beautiful night. Nice Afro beat mute going on in the background. I think we're gonna be okay. So let Cowboy go ahead and smoke this thing down to the midpoint. Let y'all know where we at. Man, I tell you what. Never judge a book by its cover. I had no idea what to expect from the Zeno Nicaraguan edition. Um, having smoked uh, the Dominican Zenos for so long, for so many years, I didn't know what to expect from Zeno with this one. But I tell you what, man, I am pleased with this cigar. As you can see, it still got a pretty decent burn there. The cigar held one hell of a nice ash. I am uh, I'm surprised at the flavors that I'm getting out of the cigar. I'm gonna say right now as I get into the second portion of the cigar that it's getting up on the plus side of medium there on the strength. I got some dark tea leaf notes going on there. I begin to pick up a tad bit of leather. Got a nice nuttiness to it. Um, that retro is still a white pepper, cedar, and spice there for me. I'm getting that cinnamon like nutmeg sweetness on the tobacco core. Still got the chocolate. Nice coffee note. Easy smoking cigar. You know, it does have a nice little sheen there to that uh, as I'm smoking it, as I heated it up. It seemed to get a little shiny there on me. But there's, there are great flavors coming off this cigar. This is a very, very nice blend by Davidoff of Geneva. Um, I'm, I'm surprised. I really am. This cigar, when I picked these up a few weeks ago, I just grabbed a couple of them. But I will tell you now, at this point, this cigar is definitely five-pack worthy. I will be going back and be sure to get a five pack. I did see that they came in packs, and I think they were five packs. Maybe they were four packs, I'm not sure. Uh, I think the cigar comes in about three different sizes, if I'm not mistaken. But I am pleased with the Zeno, Nicaragua right now, folks. Thick smoke. Uh, a nice sweet tea note there as well. That leather is picking up just a little bit more. Tasty, tasty cigar, folks. Cowboy gonna smoke this thing on down to the last portion of it. I'm gonna come back and let y'all know what I think. The Zeno, Nicaragua. Go out and get it. I think she's gonna score pretty good tonight. Like I say, family. Never judge a book by its cover, man. The Zeno Nicaragua is legit. Great job by Davidoff of Geneva to come out with a cigar at the price of seven bucks. So tasty. Like I said before, the cigar truly surprised me, man. As I get down to the last portion of this cigar, I start to pick up a tad bit of dry, sweet earthiness uh not bad definitely leaves a nice thick coating to the mouth great mouth feel to the cigar all the other notes that i said before man the chocolate creaminess the coffee the leather the spice the white pepper let me see let me see if that white pepper still there on that retro The white pepper is picked up to get to be a little bit stronger there on that retro along with that cedar and that spice. I'm gonna say that this cigar is gonna finish for me on the plus side of medium and strength, plus side of medium and body, plus side of medium and flavors as well. Like I said, I'm very surprised. That burn didn't stay completely straight for me. I thought I was gonna have to, in the middle of that cigar, touch that up, but I didn't have to, no relights. 
Uh, I had no issues with the construction on the cigar. Um, it's got a very nice sweet tea note to it. Very nice tobacco profile. For a three country blend, for the Zeno, five by 54, Robusto. This is a good cigar, folks. So Cowboy ain't gonna mess around, man. We're gonna go ahead and score this thing, and I'm gonna let y'all go. But before I go, man, let me just say, uh, I know I haven't been on as much as I used to come on a couple of times a week, but uh, as cigar reviewers, man, we're under attack out here right now for some reason. Um, seems to be that way across the board with the whole cigar community, uh, with the whole thing with the Cigar Rights of America. A lot of us are having problems as reviewers with our videos being flagged or blocked in certain places. And it seems to be across the board. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but the cigar reviewers out here, man, we have to stand together and stay behind one another and not be in conflict with one another because we're already under attack with the people. You understand what I'm saying? So those of us as reviewers, man, we got to stick together, man, to keep this thing going. We doing this so they can bring great reviews to the folks, man, and hopefully we can continue to do this. Um, as you guys have probably heard a couple of the other guys say, it's just a matter of time when we're going to have to find somewhere else to go in order to do these reviews, man, because YouTube has been tripping lately. Even with the few little videos that I do, um, I don't have a whole lot out there, and I don't see what I'm doing wrong for them to be blocking and flagging most of what we're doing lately over the last two weeks to a month. But we're going to try to continue to keep bringing you great reviews, man. Keep smoking these cigars with you. And hopefully things are going to get better. So Cowboy's going to go ahead and score this Zeno Nicaragua. On my scale of 1 to 10, I give the construction a 10. I am going to give the burn a 9. I give the flavors an 8. I give the body an 8. And for complexion and transition, I'm going to give it a 7. So when I tally all that up, that gives the Zeno Nicaragua an overall score of an 8.4. And I am surprised that it scored that high. And on my scale of 1 to 10, that makes this a great cigar. So it's definitely one to have in the box, folks. Definitely five-pack worthy. I'm going to say it's even box worthy for some, man. I'm definitely going to go out and get some more. So you guys go run that thing down, man. I'm not sure what the production is on these Zeno Nicaraguas, how long they're going to be out. Um, I don't know if this is just a limited run or if this is something that they're going to continue to do. I hope they do because this is a great cigar, a great budget-friendly cigar. So Cowboy going to get out of here, man. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening. And you know I expect you all to do the same. This Cowboy, and that's my take on it. Peace.